What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, I've decided to go to college. Oh, that's awesome. You're really going to make something of yourself. I never went. Big mistake. What are you even doing with your life? Yeah, not much. I went into the plumbing trade right out of high school. I started at about 100K per year. You had to pay 100K per year? No, they paid me. Oh, that's weird. Well, I'll be taking five years earning no money while going into debt. I have no debt. Now I earn about 150K per year, which will help me pay off your college debt, which I have to do now. Then I'll take several years looking for a job starting at 60K per year. Hey, in about eight years, if you need a plumber to fix something in your house that you still won't be able to afford to buy, let me know. I will, but man, you're such an idiot for not going to college. I know, don't rub it in. But do you know what you're gonna study? Yeah, I wanna study something that'll really help me get ahead with a clear career path to success. So I'm gonna study gender theory. What do you plan to do with that degree? Well, I hope to make advancements in the field so we can finally answer the question, what is a woman? Well, I think a woman is just an adult female. Yeah, I know that now. But once I get to the university, myself and all the other great scholars I'll be studying from won't know that. Are there a lot of jobs available in that field? I can only assume. Do you know what university you're gonna go to? I'm still trying to decide. I wanna go to one that still does segregation. They still do that? Some do, but technically not still. A handful of decades ago, they stopped doing it because it's blatantly racist. Then they stopped doing it for a while, but now they can get away with racism, so they're doing it again. It's like having the worst of the 1950s with none of the best parts. Sounds like that'll be great to participate in. Are you gonna live on campus? I'd like to. I just don't know if I qualify to stay in the men's or the women's dorm. I'm hoping that once I arrive on campus, they'll be able to assign me the correct gender and then put me in the proper dorm. Sounds like a big investment, man. Are you sure that spending years in college is the best way to get ahead in our present day world? Yeah, that's what universities who profit tremendously from people like me taking out loans to pay them hundreds of thousands of dollars have told me. Sounds airtight. Yeah, learning the most updated science about pronouns is very profitable or else I assume universities wouldn't force students to invest so much time and money learning about them. As an uneducated man who merely earns a great living for his family while contributing a valuable service to the community, I'm jealous. I mean, when I was in third grade, all they taught us about pronouns are that they're the part of speech that substitutes for nouns while designating persons previously specified or designated from context. Yeah, that's just misinformation. Pronouns are so much more. Your university will teach you how to look at a single person and call them they, which means more than one person. And I mean, you'll look so much more intelligent than a third grader who thinks a single person shouldn't be referred to as multiple people. Ha, I know. And the advanced information based on imagination they teach me about them can help a fine college student such as myself earn a lot of money in a future career. I must admit, as an uneducated person, I don't know how one goes about monetizing their education and pronouns. How do you do that? Well, just with a career. Dude, you're gonna be so brilliant with your college education. That's correct. I think college will be great for opening my mind. Yeah, and apparently liberal professors outnumber conservative professors 12 to one. I can't imagine how good that lack of diversity of thought will be for opening your mind. I can't tell if you're being serious or sarcastic. Neither can I. Well then, thank you. You're gonna be so well supported with all of a university's resources at your own disposal. Indeed, they're very well-funded institutions. And aside from all the enrollment money they have, from 2014 to 2019 alone, American universities received over $315 million in funding from the Chinese Communist Party. Do you think that's a problem? No, the universities try to cover it up, so why would it be a problem? Well, do you think that could be why so many college students learn to hate what America stands for? No. You don't see a direct correlation there? No. You already have such an open mind. I know, getting a head start. Hey, I'm wondering, what would you say you're looking forward to most about college? I want to learn about practical, real-world stuff that'll help me get ahead. Like, I wanna learn about how to find safe spaces. Yeah, that'll be really helpful. You know, in all of my years functioning really well in the real world, I have never once been able to find a safe space. Me either, it sucks. 
But I think after I spend five years and $200,000 learning about them, I'll be much better able to find them and avoid uncomfortable experiences and challenges that life throws at me rather than facing them head on. That's the secret of all successful people. They always avoid challenges. I think that's what Tony Robbins teaches, like the power of avoidance or something. You ever go to any of his events? No, all he has is real life experiences. I'd rather learn from a professor who doesn't have any of that tarnishing his record. What do you mean? Yeah, it's better to learn about your future career path from a professor whose career path has always been to be in the classroom rather than having actual real life experience doing the thing. They teach their students how to have real life experience doing the thing that they themselves don't have real life experience doing. I think some cultures have a name for that. Wise man? Yeah, it's either that or con man. I can't remember which. Well, if you went to college, you'd probably be smart enough to remember. Probably. Well, good luck at college. I can't wait to see how it works for you. See how it works for me? That is a microaggression against blind people. It's like you're already in college. I know, and it's only gonna get worse. <laughs>